Hey everybody, today we're going to find missing angles using addition and subtraction and we're going to find missing adjacent angles and what that means is adjacent means next to so we're going to see some angles next to each other one we know and one we don't and we have to find that missing piece. Let's get started. Today we're going to focus on using addition and subtraction of addition of ad adjacent angle measures to solve problems using a symbol for the unknown angle measure. And in math, we call that symbol or that letter a variable. So if we look at this first problem, um, they are very nice to us and they tell us right away um, that the angle that we should be looking at is a right angle. And we can see the right angle. I'll trace it. Um, this corner is a perfect corner. It's a backwards L. Um, it's not slanted or pinched or open wide like a mouth. It's a perfect corner and so that's a right angle. And we know that right angles measure 90 degrees. So I'm going to make um, a math sentence that has my variable x and the piece that I'm given 35 and what I should know is this piece that I'm missing in 35 when put together they should equal 90 degrees and we can see that in this problem they started that equation for us at the bottom so we have blank plus 35 equals 90 because again we have this 90 degree angle here that's what these two are sitting on so the only thing that they forgot in their equation, but for their two pieces, they have 35, they have 90, but they forgot the variable. So that's what I'm going to put on the line. So I know when these two pieces are added together, they should equal 90, but I have to find that missing piece. And we've learned earlier in the year that whenever we're finding a missing piece, we're going to do the opposite of whatever we see, whatever operation we see. So Right now, we're seeing addition, so we need to do the opposite of that, and we need to subtract. So in our white space, I can set up 90 minus 35. We cannot do 0 minus 5, so I'm going to unbundle or borrow from the 9 so that I can do my subtraction. So now I have 10 minus 5 is 5. 8 minus 3 is also 5. So x equals 55 degrees and I'm going to put my degree symbol up in the corner it's a little tiny circle like we can see above 35 and 90 and even our variable has it so I know my missing piece is 55 degrees 55 plus 35 would equal 90 let's try another one before, our angle rested on a right angle, but we're not always going to have a right angle. In this problem, our angle sits on a straight line, which is also an angle. It's called a straight angle. It's very easy to remember. And a straight angle, we can picture um, it's half of our circle. If I drew half of my circle here, that line is halfway, or as best as halfway as I can draw. Um, so we know half a circle, um, if you go around half a circle, or if you get on your skateboard and you do a trick where you turn halfway around, that's called a 180. So I know a straight line or half a circle is going to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so I know that when I look at my two pieces, I have 145 and my variable is x. So when I add these two numbers together, it should equal 180 because that's the type of angle that it's sitting on. So if I look, they again started my uh, formula for me. They, have, they did 145 plus something equals 180. So they got 145 and they did 180, the only piece they forgot was our variable. So I'm going to add that in now. 145 plus x will equal 180. 
Just like last time, we're going to use our opposite operation to find the answer. So I see an addition symbol, so the opposite of addition is subtraction. So in my white space, I can set up 180 minus 145. I cannot do 0 minus 5. So I'm going to unbundle or borrow from the 8. So I have 10 minus 5 is 5. 7 minus 4 is 3. And 1 minus 1 is 0, so I do not have to write that 0 down. So x equals 35 degrees, and I'll put that degree symbol there. So 145 plus 300, or sorry, plus 35 degrees together will equal 180. We're going to do one more example today uh, because not all the time will you see an angle just have two parts. Sometimes it'll have more than two parts. And you can see in this example, we're solving for the measurement of angle USW. So if I look, um, here's U, S, W. So I'm solving for this angle right there. Okay. And they're telling me that RST, RST is a straight angle. And like we discussed before, straight angle is at half a circle, so we know it's going to equal 180 degrees. I'm going to write that 180, just like I've done in all my examples, I'm going to write it every time I do the problem so that I see it. If I write it and I see it, then I won't forget it. Um, so first, I need to figure out my pieces and write them in an addition sentence, just like we saw in the other examples. So my first piece is 70. Then I have my variable x. Then I have 35. And all these three things, when put together, if I want all three angles together, all three angles together are going to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so if I go back and check, I did the 70. I did the X, I did the 35, and I did 180. So I know I have all of my pieces, and so now I can start solving. What changes in this problem is that we have three pieces instead of two, so I need an extra step. Before I can subtract, I need to add together 70 and 35 and put those two pieces together. So I can do that problem off in my white space if I need to, or I can do it in my head. Um, I can do the ones first, five, plus zero is five, three plus seven is 10. And so I get 105 plus X equals 180. Now my formula looks like it did in the other two problems and now I can subtract. So I'm going to take 180 minus 105 I can't do zero minus five, so I'll unbundle or borrow from the eight. 10 minus five is five. Seven minus zero is seven, and one minus one is zero. I do not have to write it. So I know that my variable, this missing piece, is 75 degrees. I just need to write an answer sentence to let my reader know. So my last sentence will be x equals 75 degrees. So when I add up 70 plus 75 plus 35, my answer will be 180. And I have found my missing piece.